All hell of beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. Today we are back for yet another unboxing, man. I got some stuff in the mail. I've been ordering some things, man, trying to get some additional pieces added to my collection. You know, I got something in here. I don't even remember what I ordered. I know that a subscriber hit me up on Snapchat and said, Big Beard B, he actually sent me a video, man. He was excited. He was super, super excited about, um, I forgot the name of it. I think it's Valentino Womo Aqua. Yeah, that's that's what it was. He was super excited about Valentino Womo Aqua and said, look, you know, take my recommendations as I take yours and blind buy this sh I said, you know what, man, I'm gonna do that. So that lies in here. And here we have it, man, a box. You guys know how I feel about boxes. You guys know what they do to me. Sometimes I get a little bit triggered. All right, so, um, before I actually open this box, man, I want to talk about a few things. One, if you haven't checked out last night's vlog, you guys asked for more vlogs and I've delivered. So make sure you check that out. Boom! And if you did what I asked you to do in the video, the bottle of Aventus is not for that. Um, that was actually being picked up for the winner of the 20K giveaway. Um, so now you know what you got, sir. That's what you asked for. But I told you to give me a few different options just in case they didn't have what you asked for. But... That is what you asked for and that's what you got, sir. Just in case you don't know, because I did not tell you. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, about me asking you to do something in the vlog, then you need to go check it out, man. What are you waiting for? You should have hit the goddamn bell. You should have already seen it. I don't care if it went up at midnight. You know, you should have seen it already, goddamn it. So hopefully that clarifies everything in case you guys had any questions. I don't know what I'm giving away yet. Um, it was a very spontaneous. It was a spur of the moment. She was at it and I said, you know what? You should put in, if you made it this far, I think my, my first word was put in magic. I don't know. <laughs> it was the first thing that popped in my head. All right. So if you made it that far, then you know what I'm talking about. But I will make it special. Believe me. And since we're on the topic of giveaways, um, I actually saw some things in the last giveaway announcement that actually made a lot of sense. So some of the guys out there were talking about, you know, I comment on every video. I'm here. Where the flip and flop did all these new names come from? Where all these new people come from? You know, I see the same three, four hundred people coming all the time, and now we got 1,500, 1,400 comments. I'm like, you know what? That makes sense. So going forward, um, I will do my giveaways. Oh. Well, two things, man. I'm going to do the giveaways. One, based on the loyal subscribers, right? The people who have been around. And then two, I'm also just going to open it up, man. You might be new to the channel. You might just be finding out about Big Bear Bill. You might not be a commenter. You know, I comment on a few videos that I watch, but not every video, you know? So I understand how that goes. So um, I will split the giveaways going forward for the major giveaways like that. I think that's the fairest way to do it. That keeps the new people, you know, engaged and the opportunity to win. That keeps my loyal subscribers the opportunity to, you know, get some of these big prizes. So in layman terms, what I'm trying to say here is that I'm going to do these giveaways in a 50-50 split. So half of the names are going to be personally picked by me. All right, so I'm going to go through, I'm going to look for names that I often see people who have been loyal to the channel I'm gonna go through and pick you guys the second side of that will be done just like it's always been done with the random picker because I know some of the guys that's been around for a while the girls and girls that have been around for a while you know haven't really won anything yet man I want to make sure that you guys um, are rewarded for your participation in the channel but now that I got that out of the way let's get into this unboxing I had this here to cut it open but I feel like it would be much better if I just ripped it open and took it with Big Bear B fashion. No box, man. No box is safe. No box is too strong. As my son used to always say, too strong. I don't, I don't know why, <laughs> where that came from, but he used to always say it. So I got three packages here. Un, deux, trois. Uno, dos, tres. You know any other no languages? Nah, me either. That's all I got. I got three here, and I'll run through them briefly, all right, to let you guys understand what it is, man. All right, guys, so um, this stuff here came from Ferguson.net. This was ordered by me. Some of you guys out there ask, you know, do you always buy retail or do you purchase things online? I do purchase things online, and I have a very, very, very in-depth detailed video uh, series coming to you guys on those things, so 
Make sure you stick around so you can see them. I think it'll be very helpful to you guys, especially with all the questions that I get surrounding where to purchase fragrances. So let's get into this here, man. I got um, three things here, all from subscribers' choices, right? So you guys may or may not know this, but I always take, you know, suggestions. If you put something in, I'll put it down in the comments and say, hey, I will put this in the video queue. What that means is that if you uh, say, you say, hey, I want CK Shock one or ck1 shop all right i'll say it's in the video queue what i do is look and look and look for more of those to come in and when i have enough of those i will officially do the video like i want to do the video because you want to see it but i also got to make sure other people want to see it now when it comes to things like this one here you know valentino Womo aqua this one just the subscriber was just so enthused with this one i had to grab it um i heard some good things about this one a long time ago by I want to say Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. I believe it was Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. I think he did a video on this one, and um, it, this one was not available in my Neiman Marcus where I was. So now I have it. They only had the regulars. So now I have it. See what all this hype is about. So here's your bottle for Valentino Womu Aqua. Not 100% familiar with the fragrance, but let's see what I can find out. All right, so this is a nice fragrance here, man. I like it. It's, it's elegant. It's classy. It opens up with um, some, some orange in there. And then it also has like this, this different note in it, man. I don't know if it's like tomato. Is that weird if I said like tomato or basil? I don't know. Is it, they kind of go like, I guess they both go in spaghetti, right? <laughs> I know those are really on different spectrums, but it's definitely in there. I would like to see how this one dries down and really get you guys a full detail review on this one. This is a 100 ml bottle. I don't recall what I paid for it. I'll link it below for you guys so you can check it out. But I think if you're looking for something classy for the spring or the summertime and or the summertime, then this one will work out. Obviously, with it being an aqua version, it is good for spring and summer. But there we go, man. Valentino Womo Aqua. Another one. CK1 Shock. Oh, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> All right, guys, so obviously, you know I don't have this in the collection because I would have known that it came that way. I'm not a splash bottle type of guy. Like, if you've been around, if you're old, you probably use a splash bottle. <laughs> Man, did they used to use splash bottles like that? So this one I had a few people ask me for. I have not done a review on this one. Obviously, I'm just entering this one into the collection. And honestly, I never really smelled this one before. At least if I have, I don't fully recall it at the moment. So, let's see what it smells like. My live... Alright, I'm, I'm gonna give you a pass because I had to, like, put you in there. But that took too many times to spray. <clears throat> Alright, guys, so on my initial take on this, my thoughts, man, I'm not a big fan of this one. Like, I gotta test it some more. Let it wear, it's kind of leans more on the oriental side. I thought this would be more of a, like a, a bright, you know, citrus one. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm not shocked. It's not shocking. It's not a electrified. At least on my first impressions. I don't know, you guys comment below and let me know. I will do a full review on this one because it was requested and we'll see where we end. But nonetheless, it's in the collection now and I have another bottle. So thank you subscribers for having me purchase that one. <laughs> And then last one is uh, Dunhill Icon. So I am familiar with this one. I initially smelled this one at Saks a while ago and I did not purchase it from Saks. Not at my local Saks, this was Saks down in Miami. But I did not purchase it because I knew it was like a lot cheaper online. Now I talked to you guys before about, you know, buying fragrances online or, you know, getting the prices of fragrances and trying to understand where to buy. Listen, I kind of like see, like it, buy it type of thing, but if I know for sure, like if I know with a thousand percent certainty at that moment that, hey, I can buy this one online from a reputable retailer and it's not something that I have to have at the moment, then go online and buy it. I mean, I don't like waiting for fragrances, so, you know, if I have to wait, because I do wait on a lot of things now just by people like, hey, I want to send you something, then I have to wait for them to actually send it. Like, oh, I've been waiting. I've been waiting for the email to say, come here and pick it up. Because that's what happens. When I get something in, they, they, they send me a message and say, hey, you have something. You have three days to come pick it up. <laughs> We're going to charge you. <laughs> that's weird. Like, why are you going to charge me? Like, I'm paying you to accept my stuff, and you going to charge me if I take longer than three days to pick it up. It's crazy. All right. So I am familiar with this one. I do like it. 
Um, but I, I just didn't add it to the collection. But now it's here. <clears throat> this one's here. Dunhill Icon Racing will be here as well. That is the green bottle. That is the latest release from them, at least in the Icon series, the Dunhill Icon series. And it's been getting a lot, a lot of love in the community. And a lot of you guys have hit me up and said, hey, B, we need you to um, review this one for us. So I'll definitely check it out. I've seen it on a lot of lists. I'm not 100% sure that it's available. Any you know what it is? I seen it. I think I saw it on either um, Nordstrom or Neiman Marcus website. One or two. It might have been Barney's. One of the three. So I have to check those out for you guys, but that's a quick unboxing, first impressions. Do you guys have these in your collection? Do you have down there Icon? Comment and let me know, that's the original. Do you have CK1 Shock? Or do you have Valentino One More Aqua? Uh, I guess better yet, which one would you guys like to see first? These are all three subscribers choices, all right? This one came from Snapchat. This one had a lot of you guys asking me for it. And then this one had a few of you guys asking for it as well, but I did smell this one before and know that I liked it. So comment below and let me know which one would you guys like to see first. You know, would you like to see a battle royale? Would you like to see fragrances go head to head where one, the loser gets crushed? That would be weird. <laughs> all right guys, that's all I have for you today. I'm your boy, Big BB. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And. One more thing. So in regard to yesterday's vlog video, let me know if you guys would like to see more vlogs about different things. Like, like I do a lot of other things besides purchase fragrances. <laughs> so if you guys would like to see other things, then say, hey, Big B, B that's what we want to see. And I can get those uploaded as well. Because that was fun, man. I like doing these vlogs, you know, get out of this room. Because when I film these videos, my mind goes crazy. I start crushing boxes. I start eating boxes. Who knows? I'm, I might even saute one. <laughs> I don't know, man. It gets crazy in this room. So sometimes I need to get out of here. You know what I mean? So if you guys want to be a part of that, you want to see what goes on when I'm not in this room, then comment below and let me know. Because you are my family. And I'll bring y'all along with me, you know? It's free to bring y'all. My other family. <laughs> I got to pay for them. <laughs> not you. You know what I'm talking about. No offense if you're watching this video, family. You're probably not though. <laughs> comment below and let your boy know. I'm your boy, Big Beard Beat. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend that we all back again. And stay tuned. We got more unboxings, you know, more fly, dope stuff, and content to come. Hit the goddamn bell.